Hello everybody. Today I'm working with some crepe paper collections and these two photos of my new home. I absolutely loved that ombre paper and decided I really wanted to use it. It has a gorgeous wood tone at the top and it fades to pink on the bottom although I am going to flip that in just a second. That background paper is from Maggie Holmes from the Shine Collection and the paper itself is called Divine. Now what I'm doing right now since I've left you is I'm cutting the photo mat paper which is that green and white diagonal stripe. That is also Maggie Holmes from the Shine Collection and the paper name is Charming. In the background I absolutely love that floral paper and my intention when I started this whole thing out was to use a very large strip and I was thinking about like doing some sort of centered block and then putting the strip of paper down but what I discovered is I just didn't see that much of it and you're gonna laugh when this layout ends up being done because I intended on using a lot of it but I also wanted you to see a lot of that ombre paper so you end up seeing in the end about I don't know an inch and a half or two inch wide strip of that background paper and I end up co covering up a ton of what I cut in the end but you know as much as that's a little sad for me it's okay because I have plenty of paper I'm positive I won't miss it and I did save the off cut for use later so that floral paper is crate paper from the confetti collection and it's called lovely so what I'm going to do there there's the um, piece that I'm saving and what I said like I said is I was just thinking about doing a large banner in the middle of the paper so I'm sort of playing with it and now I decide that I really like the pink at the top because I'm going to put the um, photos more towards the top at least that's my intention still here I'm thinking I'm going to you know just leave it like this but it is bothering me because I really wanted to feature that paper in some way and I'm not seeing very much of it so as I said very ironic how this all ends up in the end I did pull out some ink there and that is my memento dewdrop ink in London Fog, or not sorry, not London Fog, it's gray flannel. London Fog is a bit greener and less gray, so this is the gray flannel ink. I also have those gold thickers. I am going to use those. Those are from the Maggie Holmes collection, and they're in uh, the font daiquiri, and the color is gold. So here I'm looking at, now how am I gonna cut this um, large banner? And I want to put my title, I know my title is going to be home for sure and I'm thinking I want that to end up on the top so that's what I'm doing but while I'm doing this all of a sudden I slide my paper to the side there and decide this would be a great opportunity to use some border strips I have on the left side of my desk a pile of things that I want to use up so I have a lot of these older crepe paper sticker sheets and a lot of them have border strips on them and I really want to get them used up so if I'll go through them sometimes especially if I'm using a manufacturer collection that is the same and use or manufacturer I should really say so now I'm playing around with how much of that floral paper do I expose and realize that I've cut it pretty short it's glued down and I don't have enough space now to really show that on the other side so I want to weight the layout a little bit more to the left because I've done that that pink border strip um, by the way was from the crate paper flea market collection um, and it's the border stickers there and then that um, heart border sticker that I'm kind of playing around with right now I am going to put on the layout just not right there is from crepe paper paper heart the border stickers and I have to say um, crepe paper paper heart that collection is probably my all-time favorite collection ever um, I bought a ton of it still have a little bit of it left not much but a little bit so I was thinking about using that scallop border somewhere and that is not going to end up on the layout and what I did when I was positioning that scallop order I actually 
tore the background paper just a little bit. So I know I'm going to need to somehow uh, cover that. In this case right now, I have the the photo block shifted over, but this is not going to be the way it works out. And I'm lucky I didn't tear it again there. I didn't, it, it came out okay. So I'm looking at this and I decide I like the way that looks and now I can start doing a cluster to the right there. So the die cuts there are from the Crate Paper Craft Market collection. That's where those two are coming from. I'll also use some confetti die cuts too and I'll try to tell you about those when they come up. But I'm using a lot of Craft Market die cuts on this. So I've positioned that heart border strip to the left as well, and that's where it's going to stay. And the way the papers and the border strips are situated right now is really how the layout's going to end up landing. I'm taking those daiquiri stickers right now and um, positioning them. And as I said, I knew the title was gonna be home, but as I'm looking at this title and starting the embellishment process, I don't really care for all the space up there at the top. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do there. And what's going to happen is I'm going to play a little bit with my title and I'm also going to play around a little bit with um, maybe another cluster. What I decided to do is I thought, well, if I do home at last, because that's kind of what this felt like to me, um, I could put the at at the top and then take up that extra space there. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. But then when I do that, I don't like the way at and last are separated because they're sort of like two separate thoughts. Home is one thought and at last is another thought for me. So I'm gonna play with this again, my title again. I am liking the way that last is um, kind of nestled in there by the floral cluster there. So I do want to keep that intact somehow. And I will figure that out. So now I'm actually going to glue down that strip there. And that's glued down. And it's um. For some reason, that green paper was longer than the other paper. I must have caught, uh, must have cut the actually the green paper and the um, floral paper was a little bit longer uh, than the um, ombre paper in the background. So I had to cut a little bit off there. And what I just did with that border sticker, there wasn't a complete circle at the top of them, but the border sticker was also not long enough to go the full 12 inches, which I never understand why companies make border stickers that are less than 12 inches, but whatever. That's one of my personal scrapbooking pet peeves. Um, what I did there is I just cut it so that there are even circles at the top. So now I'm playing with home again to try to get this all situated a little bit. But again, as I said, I'm not liking that. Now, oh, and the other thing about the um, at that is important is that for the at and last, I had to use an F because I didn't have any T's left and all I do is just sort of cut off the top circular part of that F and it sort of takes care of itself. So now I'm trying to figure out um, clusters here, where they're going to be. I've used a piece of die cut ephemera again on the left, that ticket. That is also from the um, craft market collection. And I'm, you know, kind of figuring out, okay, how am I going to do it? Because I do like having two, but I feel like I'm missing something at the top then. The two just don't feel properly weighted to me, to my eye. So I'm nestling the last in there. I decided I better get that um, floral die cut on there because I was nestling the last in there and <laughs> I'd get it down and I would forget where it went if I wasn't too careful. And I kind of did forget the positioning so I played with this a little bit to get it right on that card there. I 
I love um, taking my letters and cutting them up and moving them around so that you can get more out of your thickers. Um, I do own a, a Cricut die cutting machine, but I really like a lot of dimension to my letters and that just wasn't, um, so it doesn't work for me as well. I like, I like them thicker like the thickers are. I pulled a ticket there from the Maggie Holmes Shine sticker sheet there and it says admit one it says admit one and then it says together which is kind of funny but um anyway so i pulled that and decided that to put in put that in the bottom cluster there and i'm just looking at that like i said and i decide you know what that at takes up the space that's down there by the last so now I can get some balance up in the top there by using another cluster, which is what I'm going to decide to do. One of the things I pulled when I was looking at this layout is these cork bows by Dear Lizzie. I love them, but they're so dimensional and they're so big that I haven't used any yet, which is really very sad. Um, and I'm not going to use them on this layout either. It was a little bit too delicate to use those cork bows, and I think that's the problem that I'm having. Instead, what I do is I pull this bow um, and it's from their gold and pink bows, and I only had two pink ones left, so I ended up having to um, use a gold one at the top, which is fine. But those bows are from the Maggie Holmes Open Book collection. They're the glitter ribbon bows. And that banner sticker up there, that gold banner sticker, is from the Maggie Holmes Shine sticker pack. That tick or that tag that I just cut is one of the pieces of ephemera from the confetti die cut pack. It's the um, it's a little tag with glitter on it. And I cut the glitter off the bottom. I love it so much I am going to make sure that it makes it on this layout in just a second. It, it just didn't work at the top to use it all so I'm going to just tuck it up under the floral and the card there in this cluster. And I'm playing around with it a little bit because it's really not quite long enough to land where I originally wanted it. So I'll play with it for just a second here. And I have that cluster mostly down. Added a bow there. And now I'm playing with the tickets in the cluster on the left hand side. I will tell you, I think I did something off camera here, if I remember correctly, after the layout was all done. I added a little today sticker from um, the Shine Collection and a little gold heart sticker at the top with the um, ticket there, the pink ticket, the together or admit one together. Um, ticket and you'll see those in the stills at the end. What I did here is I want to tuck a few things up under there that um, piece of ephemera. I wanted something to help that uh, green ticket stand out a little bit more against the paper and I was so glued down there that I had to use my Cricut spatula to pull the the green stripe paper up. I will frequently do that where I'll use that Cricut spatula to help it. Um, it rips the paper less if you're concerned about that. So I'm playing around because I thought that that piece of ephemera that I had pulled from the confetti die cut pack was not long enough or wasn't wide enough. So I'm going to pull um, a few other things here to try to see what I can get to work. Try to frame, I think that frames from the Pure Collection, but don't quote me on it, it's pretty old. So I'm just trying to help this cluster and I'm not quite sure what it is that I want, but I don't like those two tickets, horizontal tickets, that are almost in the same line. I don't love that bow right in the middle there. That's a journaling card. I, I liked the size of it and play around with this for quite a while, but I didn't like, I didn't think there was enough white exposed there. And it's almost too peachy for the layout. There was a peachy flower that it was laying against, but it was just a little bit too peachy. So I'm going back in here to my confetti die cuts here, my confetti ephemera die cut pack here. And I found this strip of tickets, which I thought really worked well size-wise. Just It was just getting it right. 
playing with another one just to see if I want it to be a little bit shorter. I thought the pink and white banding on this though was a little bit more distracting. So kind of laying one on the other one trying to decide which one I like best. So just this cluster was being troublesome for me. Um, I did, by the way, in the end, add a little foil heart from the Shine sticker pack, again, that you will see in the um, stills, because I don't think I do that on camera, if I remember correctly. It was something I looked at at the end and went, oh, I can stick a few more pieces of um, ephemera in these clusters. <laughs> I have plenty of supplies. Trust me, I need to stick more on the clusters. So now what I'm doing is I'm just getting these bows down. Um, I'm not going to journal on camera, and I don't believe you see it in the stills either because I, it was dark when I finished this layout. There's the word sticker that I used. But the journaling goes below that bottom bow in the end. I'm just about done. You'll see the still and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all having a great day. Bye!